Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker and the first of three from this cider company that I'm going to be trying today. Yes, it's once again new cider company territory for the channel. And today I am with Dorset Nectar Cider Company. Today I am trying out a bottle of their Honey Bubble Cider, which is obviously a sparkling honey cider as if it's not apparent enough with all the beehives and stuff around it. Um, I was very lucky and fortunate to actually go to Dorset Nectar um, Cider Mill whilst I was um, staying over in Cornwall, I think it was. It was a, a little while ago now. Uh, but honestly, an absolutely fantastic orchard. It's a lovely place. You can even camp there um, over the week if you wanted to. Um, like just amongst the apple trees, sampling their ciders and everything. Uh, it is definitely very much worth it. And you can also um, meet the resident pet goose that's there as well. He certainly, uh, certainly came to our table and gave us a little howdy doody. Uh, so yeah, definitely check these guys out. Uh, but as I said, Honey Bubble is their sparkling honey cider. It comes in 500 ml bottles, as you can see, and is a very modest 3.8% ABV. So uh, yeah, definitely easily sessionable. So, Honey Bubble Cider, a refreshingly smooth cider with a light sparkle and a glaze of honey. The cider is orchard pressed from sun-ripened organic Dorset-grown apples. And the ingredients are literally organic cider apples, sugar and honey. Um, no puns about the, uh, about the song there. Some sediment is normal. As it is, sediment is normal. Now, interesting thing is it says it's vegan. Some would question whether actually adding honey into a cider makes it vegan because technically honey isn't actually vegan if you look into it. That's a totally different discussion, not going to get into that. But uh, I know some people will probably say, well, it's not actually vegan, but maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know the scientific side of things. All I know is that some people have said that before. Anyway, does that detract from making it a good cider? Well, tell you what, let's waste no more time. Let's get this top off and just see what I make of honey bubble cider, shall we? Ah, well, you instantly think that it's gonna be sweet smelling, but it's not. That smells, that smells sharp, that smells dry. Uh, yeah, no hint of sweetness there at all. Now, I think I did see some sediment in the bottom of this cider, and you know what, I don't care. Adds a little bit of flavor, adds a little bit of potential murk to the cider, so whack it all in, that's what I say. Right, well, colour is, well, almost looks a little bit like honey in the glass, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, it's not quite opaque, definitely no filtering though, definite uh, sediment in there. Uh, but yeah, it actually looks like a lovely nice golden, uh, deep golden colour there from what I've seen. It does actually look like liquid honey in the glass. Lightly uh, carbonated from what I can see there, so nice little nice little bubbles rising up to the top of the glass there. So, what does it smell like in the glass? Okay, it's still smelling dry, still smelling, still smelling quite sharp. I want to say there's a um, slight vinegary essence to it. But yeah, wouldn't, uh, you'd think that it was a sweet, going to be a sweet smelling cider, but most definitely not. This is definitely more on the dry side. But is it gonna taste dry? Well, let's find out. Let's waste no more time. Cheers, everyone. Is this worth seeking out a honey-infused cider? Let's find out. Cheers. And there's the, uh, there's the honey. There's the honey coming through. Sweet, lovely body. Oh, man, man, that is that is that is gloriously good. That is so nice. Uh, yeah, it definitely tastes a lot sweeter than it than the smell belies it. Ah, uh, yeah, the honey definitely comes through in abundance there. It gives this lovely velvety smooth body behind everything. It just slides down your throat um, as you're drinking it. Um, but underneath all that though, you can definitely tell that there's a lovely dry apple backbone behind it. Mm. 
super easy to drink. I mean, it's only 3.8%, so yeah, it's going to be pretty easy to drink. But honestly, yeah, this is just going down so nicely. I've had a couple of um, honey infused ciders before, and they've been a little bit too overboard with the honey, and it's sort of overpowered everything, but it certainly doesn't with this one. As I said, a lovely dry apple backbone just comes through on the aftertaste there. And there is a slight, ever so slight touch of acidity just as it hits the tip of your tongue, uh, just so you take the first sip. Uh, but yeah, this is, oh, this is gloriously good. Oh. Oh, that body just makes it. It's just so full, soft, smooth and velvety. It just, oh. It just makes it really Moorish, super, super refreshing. I mean, today's an absolute scorcher today. Uh, so this is definitely going down an absolute treat. But if you have never tried a honey infused cider before, you can't go mu much more wrong with trying this one from Dorset Nectar. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, final taste before final verdict. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is, oh, that is lovely. That is just such a lovely cider. It just leaves this lovely, lovely sweet honey aftertaste as well. Just, it's just coating the roof of my mouth and, the, and my tongue lingering on. It's, it's just lovely. It's refreshing, it's Moorish. It's perfect for a hot summer's day like it is today. Um, and well, honey and honey and cider sort of go well together, mostly. I've had a couple of sizes before which have not been great, but this is definitely on the top end of some of them. Uh, so yeah, if you've never tried a honey infused cider, definitely give this one a go because it is one of the best ones I've had for, uh, for a long time, I'm gonna say. Uh, with that said, I am gonna go and give Dorset Nectar's Honey Bubble Infused Cider a nine out of 10. Uh, yeah. Um, Get, do yourself a favour, go down to Dorset Nectar's um, Cider Mill as well because it's such a lovely place. Get one of their cider flights and just try out most of their, try out almost all of their range um, you, can, you can get as samples. And I would just highly recommend them. Uh, such, such lovely people as well and it's just a great location. Um, I've got two more of their range to try as well, and I am most definitely looking forward to that. But with that said, that's another episode of the Cider Drink for you guys. I hope you liked it, and as usual, I'll be back with another delicious and tasty cider soon. <clears throat> Pardon me. <laughs> Hopefully with not more honey bubbles, shall we say. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of this, and uh, whatever you are doing, I hope you have a fantastic day full of cider as well. Take care, guys. Till next time.